All right, yeah, because it's not just hot. We've right. got to have ozone on top of it. Sure. We can't just have one. It always comes in a summer package, <laughs> No, it's it? true. The minutes, yeah. it comes together. Yeah. yeah, you have the Saharan dust out there that's still causing some problems, so that ozone action day until 7 o'clock this evening, and you'll see a live look outside over Dallas, and check out the haze that's out there. 97 degrees, feels like 102. Let's limit some of our time outdoors. If you're sensitive, maybe you have asthma, let's limit some of that time outdoors this afternoon. Now, as we look ahead, we have a hot weekend in store. Temperatures in the upper 90s. Let's drink plenty of water while we're outside. You'll need your sunscreen as we go through the weekend. And we also have a few isolated showers and thunderstorms, particularly into our Saturday. Juneteenth, I know many of you might have some outdoor activities out there celebrating freedom. And we're going to see temperatures under mostly sunny skies at 99 degrees for Sunday. And Sunday is also Father's Day. So as we look ahead, we have a nice card for, for Doug. <laughs> How about that? You'll see temperatures about 85 at 7 o'clock in the morning there for Father's Day. 99 degrees, a hot one for Pop at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Courtesy of high pressure is still out there. It's still controlling our weather overall. So as we look ahead in the forecast, yeah, you'll notice we're still going to be locked in with this hot, humid pattern for the next several days. So the hot weather is not going anywhere anytime soon. You'll feel it with the humidity as we go through the weekend, still staying below that heat advisory criteria of 105 to 109. But how about 102? That feels like temperatures tomorrow afternoon in North Texas, 103 for a lot of us on Sunday, and about 104 going into your Monday. So looking ahead for tomorrow itself, we'll see morning temperatures in the low 80s. It will likely feel like the low 100s as we go through the afternoon. Again, take breaks outside if you have any plans as we go through tomorrow. And wear the sunscreen. We have that forecast for you. You'll notice it about 10 to 11 with the UV index, and so that means that we still need to limit our time outdoors and wear the sunscreen as well. And also just, again, drink plenty of water and find some shade. Now, you'll see with the radar, we could use some rain to cool us down, and we do have it on first alert radar right now. Some isolated showers moving through Athens, moving to the west there. And you'll also notice a few more showers and storms along I-20 and toward Tyler. As we look ahead, the pattern here, well, there's going to be some more moisture moving in as we move through this evening, but also through tomorrow. And that means there's a chance of some showers even toward 10 o'clock tonight. And we could do it again as you look at Futurecast into the afternoon hours tomorrow. But we're not talking about a complete washout. That just means on your first alert seven day forecast, you'll see that 20% chance for shower. Again, not a washout, but have the rain gear handy just in case. 99 for your Sunday, and you'll notice the big time heat moving back into North Texas into next week. High temperatures next Friday near 103.